Hey, this is Edgar Prasad, Winter to Prasad, LLC. Today's date's uh, March 3rd, 2020. I'll be going into my hives today. This is this two frame nook, I, or three frame nook I built that uh, I caught the bees that were trying to abscond on me in. Uh, I'm not seeing too much movement coming in and out. I've seen a couple. Okay, I do see bees on the top. So, that's always a good sign. Let me grab my hive tool here and uh, hopefully uh, I'm going to check out through my hive stand and see what's going on. Alright, well, there's a nice little cluster of bees, so that's good. I'm probably going to end up um, feeding these just to see. Hopefully there's a queen in here. This one shouldn't be too long and then let me... Uh, Right, they haven't started doing anything on this. Oh, there's a wax moth. That's not good. Damn it. Let me kill it. All right, I got it. So, let me see what we have going on here. All right, there's a queen present in here. You see there's eggs, so that's good. So, hopefully I can... Ooh, there's a lot of fresh eggs, too. Hopefully she's somewhere I can catch her and mark her. So, so that uh, that's a big plus for this hive here. It's still a little small. This comb on this side is all messed up, but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let them. Uh, let's see. There's some pollen stores. I don't know if it's coming out right here. So that's good. Let me see if I can locate the queen. So there's a mated queen in here, so that's always a plus. And of course, small hive, I'm not going to be able to find her because this doesn't have any eggs in it. That last frame did. I don't see any eggs on this side here either. So my guess is that she's gonna be on this frame here but the issue is the way they're building that I bet she's right back there let me oh nope never mind she's right there I see hers where'd she go she just went over to the other side did she I saw her and then she vanished on me where'd she go oh there she is Let's see if I can catch her and mark her, just so I have her, I have her marked. Come here, come here, girl. Come on. Sweetness. There she is, right there. Nice little fat queen. So, hopefully I can just get her in here and not her worker that decided to all right sweet oh no ah shoot okay good she crawled on me so that's good hopefully I can huh? there we go That was a close call. That would have been man, not the first time I've done something stupid like that. So this year's blue. I know she's not from this year, but that's the color I'm gonna mark her just so that I know that, hey, this is the year I found her. So let me put her crown on her. There it is, nice little crown on her. So let me put this down, I'm gonna Keep her in here for a little bit, let it, let that dry, or else they might remove it. So, um, yes. So, all right, so I got her marked. Let me put all this back together. 
and then like I said nice easy inspection got her marked so uh, what I'm gonna end up doing is once I uh, let that dry for a little bit before the bees go into panic mode hopefully they realize that their queen's not in here so all right let me put her right back where I found her all right there she goes all right she's back in the hive so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed this one not right now but I will end up feeding giving some more sugar syrup here in a little bit let me uh there's some bees up here that let me, come on girl, please excuse me thank you all right so good thing I had my marking tool handy I brought it just in case so that's it for that one let me get set up on the next one and uh, we'll get started on that inspection all right so this here's hive two this is a hive I picked up on gliding farms uh, this winter so I remember I found the queen on this one uh, supposed to mark her green but my marker for green wasn't working so we'll see hopefully uh, hopefully she's still in here Not as many bees in here as I'd like to see. So, uh, let me see what we got going on. Where's my hub? One of the things I want to do is, um, all right, there's a, ooh, no. Let me hold on, sorry. All right, like I gotta get frames like these out of here taken care of, but uh, one of the things I do wanna do is uh, some of these frames I have, like this one here that's kind of dirty and nasty. I don't know if the bees would build on that, so I wanna really clean them out really good. And then um, with some of the wax that I have is put, um, ooh, excuse me, is put, um, a fresh coat of wax on them and hopefully they'll, they'll entice the bees to uh, start building. All right, that one's empty. They're building comb. I just don't like the way they're building it. Like always, they're connecting it weird. I don't know why, which makes it really hard for me to get in here and inspect. Come on, girls, you should know this by now. And then they get mad. Let's see. So this is some of their... See, oh, a lot of pollen. So... All right, I thought this hive, a lot of pollen, so that's good. Lots and lots of pollen. Let's see, you see here again, they did it with the comb again, where they, I don't know how they're building it, but it looks like it's uh, connected somehow. I'm trying to, oh, I'm destroying some marvin and stuff. Darn it. It's not my fault, guys. Maybe I would build the comb the way you're supposed to. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, there's some larvae in here that I might have or might have not destroyed. Ah, oh, shoot, never mind. I'm gonna have to do this one double. No, maybe triple. Let's see. Yeah, I'm uh, not happy with the way these girls are building their comb. But uh, let's see. So. That's a little weird. Okay, no, never mind. Let's see. So, all right, let's see. The queen in here is real active. You can see there's a lot of eggs and stuff. I'm trying to be real careful because the, the comb's really um, flimsy. Oh, that's a nice laying pattern there. So, um, yeah, I definitely like it. I saw a yellow dot and I thought it was my queen, but it was just some pollen. Mm -hmm. Alright, they're starting to get a little mad. Mm -hmm. So, I'll probably end up um, feeding these girls too. Oh man, some more comb connected. Alright, that one's not as bad. So, alright, let's see. Woo! They're all. She's got a really nice egg pattern. Look at that. So, yeah, see this one, it's two frames connected together, which is weird, but eh, it's on them. 
So we got a lot of eggs here, so the queen's probably on this frame somewhere. But I can't really maneuver it too much because of the way they built it. So. Not seeing any stores though, so I'm gonna end up. Uh, okay, a lot of pollen on here, so I am gonna end up um, feeding uh, some sugar syrup to these girls. Look at those last frames, nothing. Oh, I didn't see the queen. I know she's in here somewhere, judging by uh, all those eggs and stuff. But uh, let me put this hive back together, and then this we'll be done with this inspection. Then I'll do one more and that's it. So, located one queen. No, we have a queen in here just by the number of uh, uh, bees and stuff. Wow, there's actually a lot of bees down there, too. Interesting. Ah, I'm gonna. I have a queen excluder down there. Because uh, when I first caught it, I didn't want them to, to leave on me. But I think it should be pretty well established now that I can probably. Remove that queen excluder. Probably should touch my face. Probably remove that queen excluder and not have any any issues. So let me uh, smoke them a little bit because they get a bit agitated. Can't say I blame them. A lot of bees down there. So let me uh, shoot. And of course, the propolis the heck out of this. All right, there we go. Is it off? Yeah, it's off. All right. Where's my smoker? I don't want to squish any bees while I'm putting this back on. Definitely didn't like that, but they are going back toward the high, so that's good. Let me slide this on. Come on, Bruce. You got this. Sweet. Minimal losses. Or none, actually. Alright, let me... Uh, make sure the queen's not on this. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna... They're not gonna like this either, watch. First. See, it's funny how they take. All right, so this is my third hive on the property. Well, yeah, my third, not my third and final, because I have one more hive on here from. Uh, uh, hold on, I'm seeing an issue on here. All right, so I have one more hive, but it's a tire hive, so I'm not gonna mess with that one too much. It's, uh, well, I'm not gonna mess with that one at all. So, not yet, anyways. So, we'll see if these need to be fed or not. Woo! Yeah, a lot of bees up here, so that's good. Always like that. I actually did pop on this, this on there, so that's good. Yeah. I'm gonna actually start with the bottom, work my way up. just to see what's going on. And this one, I have yet to see the queen. I know there's a queen in here because obviously there's eggs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, there's still a lot of the comb, but. But let's see. Ooh. So I'm gonna take this one out and this one that needs to be clean. I have another one over here I can use. Yeah, this one right here. All right. So, I'll use that one there. Huh. They're not happy either. They're all buzzing right on me. They're bringing in yellow and orange pollen that I can see. So, oh, they're like really. Well, you can see they're like all on my side over here, like my left side. I wonder what's going on. Hopefully they don't follow me all back to, to the house. But let me put the smoker here, maybe it'll get them away from 
My left side, that's a little weird, huh? Look, that one there's got pollen on it. <laughs> ah, these guys attaching comb weird too. I hate that they do that. Why do y'all do that? Why? They do it on purpose to give me a hard time. Ooh, I can see a lot of, looks like a lot of drone eggs in here, but I'm not sure. still uh, I'm gonna have to do a double one bastards nope I have to do a triple one yeah like these three they have together so but that's a nice brood pattern there I like it Almost, they're not being aggressive. It's almost like they're a little disoriented or something. Hope their queen's not on me somewhere the way they're buzzing around me. Got a couple of eggs down there, but not too many, so. Let me put these back. So, it's a good lane pattern on this one. Trying to be careful here, because. Excuse me. Now this type here, I'm gonna end up playing out in Vail. Got some bad news about my my Vail hive. I don't know. Uh, you can see up on the corner here. It's a lot of drone drone brood. So same on this side. But as I was saying, um, bad news about my uh, bale hive. I don't know if um, I made, well, I'm sure it was me. My mistake was uh, that one hive I had out there, I left it on the floor. So um, mouse, mice ended up getting into it and uh, either ended up, the hive ended up dying. So I don't know if the hive died before the mouse got in there and then the mice moved in or the mice trying to get in there caused the hive to abscond. Not 100% not sure, but that's what happened. So I'm gonna, this one's actually gonna go and replace it. I just gotta build uh, some more stands for it. Uh, I gotta build a stand to keep it off the ground and I actually purchased um, a mouse guard. So I'm gonna take off this plastic one and put a mouse guard on there. And then um, the mouse guard actually got here today, but I was, it was supposed to be three and only two came in. Man, she's got a beautiful pattern. It's a little blotchy, but other than that, it's a nice, it's a nice lane pattern. But this one also doesn't have any, uh, any reese, well, not that I can see. I guess I still gotta check the top. Maybe she's being true to herself and just staying at the bottom. But, all right, let me see. Oh, this has a um, queen excluder at the bottom too, it looks like. So, let me, come here, sorry, excuse me. I thought this hive would be a lot more aggressive. It's not, so I'm real happy about that, especially given the uh, the size of it. All right, I got eggs here, so let me see. Maybe they're all buzzing around me because the queen was in the top box that I just moved, and uh, now they're all where'd she go? So they're wondering if I took her, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. There's a lot of eggs down here, so I mean, ah, uh, just. It's a little flimsy on the edges because it's not attached to anything, so I'm not going to look for her too hard. But if I see her, great. If I don't, it's not that big of a deal. All right, let's see. All right, here we go. Pollen and... So they're building a... Recently I found out when they get attached like that in the corner, what they're doing is building comb. As you can see, that's what they're doing there. They got some new comb built right there. I don't know that's coming out, hopefully it is. But, all right, a lot of uh, drone and pollen in here, so that's good. That last frame don't look like it has anything in it, so I'm gonna make sure we're still actually recording. Hey, look at that, we're still recording. 
All right, so let me uh, let me smoke these girls here so I can push everything back. Excuse me. I'm trying to be real gentle. I don't want to squish any. I mean, I hate losing hives, and uh, you know, these girls are not being at all aggressive. So, fortunately, it is Arizona, so it's not like I can feel comfortable to just do this with a veil on and no gloves, because. Uh, from my experience, especially that hive that I moved out to Vail, was that um, yeah, it was mellow one year, and then all of a sudden the following year, just I don't know what happened to it. It just became real aggressive. So we'll see. All right, so. Right, see, they're crawling on me, but they're not trying to sting me. So that's all you plus. So, so far, I know there's a queen here because of the number of eggs. Be, there wouldn't be that many eggs without no queen. Uh, no sign of queen cells, swarm cells, or nothing like that. So, that's good. Um, I probably could, but I won't. Uh, not this one, not yet. Um, I'm thinking maybe uh, before I move it, I might do a split into one of my five frame nooks. Just, uh, just to see, see what happens to me. If it's a successful split, great. If not, then hopefully I don't lose too many, too many bees in the process. But the thing I could do is, uh, before I move it, I'll, uh, I'll come out here and uh, do a quick split with it. Um, I don't know if I, maybe if I can get a very queen somewhere, uh, queen it with that, or if not, uh, give them plenty of eggs so they can build their own queen. Oh, they got this profile is nice look. All right. All right. A lot of drone eggs, but I haven't really seen... Oh, maybe there's a... No, no they're not drones, so... I haven't seen too many drones. So that's good. So, all right. So there's one crawling on my face. I don't think it's trying to sting me. I think it's just crawling on my face. Because, unfortunately... I know what bee is trying to see me looks like. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna end up feeding these guys here too, probably. Oh, shit. stuff in the way of other stuff. And there's still a lot of bees up here too, so that's good. I'm really happy about that. Let's see how they're building their comb though. They're building a little odd, bit odd bot too. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to using start using uh, foundation frames to get them to uh, build comb the way they're well I guess they're gonna build it the way they want to build it. But I guess to get them to build comb the way I would like them to go come. Let's see. All right, so so they do have stores up here, so that's good. They're already starting to uh, store honey. So I don't know if I should maybe throw that queen excluder around here, huh? But. Uh, it sucks, it's gonna be hard to grab it because of the way they're building their comb. Oh, this one's kind of empty. But uh, no, they're building up nice. I mean, they're putting big holes like they're gonna put drone in here, so who knows? Ooh. Getting a little itchies. I'll have to pull these two out together because the way that bottom one is. They're building some comb here, and then I don't know why they're carrying it to the other one, but they are. So, I mean, there's some fresh comb there that they're just building up, so that's good. All right, 
Well, there's a lot of bees up here, so this hive is definitely uh, thriving. You can see they got a lot of stores right there. It seems the other side looks the same. So once I get done with this inspection, what I'm actually going to end up doing is uh, I might seal up there. Eh, I think they're good. I think they should be able to protect that, but I'll keep an eye, make sure there's no robbing going on. Ah, shoot. That is not good. Just lost this whole frame. Right here. I'll tell you what, these freaking frames. Right. It's got a lot of pollen in here, and it looks like they're building wax on it, so that's good. This is one's actually they're building the way they're supposed to. So, all right, let me see. All right. So, all right, so went through all through my hives. Really happy with what I'm seeing. They're, uh, they're producing. They're, uh, they're building up wax. They're building up their, the foundations on these, so that's good. So, um, a lot of bees in here, so. That is awesome. I can probably, I probably could do a split with this one, but uh, I ain't gonna worry about that right now because um, I want to see how to do the the queen. I wouldn't mind getting a queen out of this one because, um, <laughs> sorry, my nose is all itchy. Um, they're not aggressive at all. I mean, there haven't been no uh, stinging or anything like that, so that's good. And then, uh, there's some wax down there that fell. I should probably clean that off. But all right, so yeah, so yeah, like I said, I, I I took some video of that hive in Aveo, not too much video. I'll put a quick clip on it just to show you guys. Um, it's terrible. It's really horrible. As soon as I walked up to it and I no buzzing or nothing, I already knew. And then I uh, opened it up and uh, I thought there was wax moth in there, but it wasn't. It was just the uh, the bees or not the bees, the freaking mice and their. Uh, the mice and their um, the stuff they had put on there for uh, or for their nesting boxes and stuff. So there was two mice, mice in there, no babies. Good thing too, because I would probably kill them. But uh, it happens. It's unfortunate. So, but luckily I have um, this hive here is probably ready to go out to Taveo. So uh, that's good. I'm gonna feed. Uh, I'll probably end up feeding all three. No, I don't know if I'll be able to feed this one because of how that is. But uh, I'm going to feed uh, these two hives here. I'm going to feed those two hives there. Hopefully I can get that one in that two nook box to grow and go from there. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Well, I'm going to show a little bit of a clip of uh, the bale hive to let you guys see what happened. But um, maybe you guys can see that there. But there's a lot of bees coming in with pollen and stuff. All right, so this is the uh, clip of that bale hive which I said I was going to show you guys. Um, you can see through standing right over the hive I just got there and nothing I mean this completely dead so we're taking it apart trying to figure out what happened uh, as I took it apart I thought I saw wax moth in there but later on I found out it wasn't wax moth it was just the uh, silly mice that decided to build their nest in there <laughs> and that third person that just walked into the picture is the uh, owner of the bale property um, He's actually going to get into beekeeping, so I guess that's a good thing. Uh, he just ended up purchasing a uh, flow hive and uh, a Langstroth hive. He's waiting on the uh, flow hive to arrive. But anyways, back to the uh, back to the hive in question. So yeah, we're pulling out the frames right now. Uh, here in a little bit, I'm going to pull out a frame that looks like the uh, mice chewed through and started building their nest on it. See that one right there, and then the next one that Arturo pulls out has all the bedding and stuff from them. So, I don't know, you just noticed one of the mice was down at the bottom there, peeking out. There was a total of two mice in there. Eventually one of them will come out and run underneath my uh, left foot, I don't even notice it. I just noticed it when I was going through the video that it was down there. 
see there he is right there under my left foot and it'll take off here in a little bit there it goes but yeah so that's what ended up happening to this uh, hive unfortunately um, which is idiotic I don't know why I had it on the ground I had a stand right there but it's unfortunate it happens so um, that's it for this video uh, thanks for watching like and subscribe yeah. Looks like we suited up.